it may it's being investigated as a robbery but from talking to parents of some of the victims there may be more going on here there may be some sort of romantic connection between one of the victims and the shooter the shooter being the individual found dead inside this house right here they just said it was a bunch of shooting out. William Nelson Jr. shows us the aftermath of the shooting inside this home on Thorpe in Pontiac. Bullet holes in the walls, the television, and the spot where a man died on the couch. He was like this, with his gun still on his, in his hand. Three others, all teenagers, hit by the gunfire and take it to a nearby hospital. Two of them undergoing surgery for bullets to the chest. Yeah, he got shot here, and it went and it hit some stuff in here, and he might ha have a colostomy bag for a minute. One of the victims, this man's son. He's 19-year-old William Nelson, who stepped in front of gunfire to protect another victim, 17-year-old Zaire Thomas, according to her mother. Police are investigating the shooting as a potential robbery. This woman inside at the time. It was supposed to be just friends chilling, and I can't tell you what made it go wrong. But the parents of the victims believe there may be a romantic motivation behind the shooting. William Nelson telling us he was close to losing his second son because of gunfire and has a message for other teens with weapons. Think rational. Stop. If you see trouble, get away from it. Because I'm quite sure they all had to see these people with guns. Just leave. Stay at home. It ain't nothing in the streets late at night. Go home. You know, go home with your mama. And in another tragic sign of just what this neighborhood has had to endure over the last year, less than a year ago, you see the memorial there on that steps. That's across the street where a 19-year-old died, directly across the street from where the shooting happened early this morning. Reporting live in Pontiac, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.